Hi, my name's Don, and you're watching my channel, Don Astronomy. Today I'm getting rid of my Hyperstar setup on my HHD. I've got the nine and a quarter model. I bought a new camera, a QHY268M monochrome camera. I'm having some slight issues, I think, with the spacing, and my images are, are looking good. They're looking sharp, the stars, and a nice big flat field of view in the center, but on the outer edges, the stars are flaring out a little bit, which indicates to me that my spacing isn't correct. I think I'm going to have to contact Arizona and try to get the right spacer for this camera. It will support up to a 28mm sensor, and the QHY 68M is 27 I think, so in theory it should be okay. Today I'm also going to take the opportunity to um, have a look at my mounts, my RA and deck. Seems to be a little stiff. This is the part I hate right here. Always freaks me out. I'm hoping um, just to free this movement up. It's quite stiff as you can see. And it's really hard to get balance. I find I have to shift the weight on my deck inclination axis quite considerably uh, to find balance which is telling me it's just too stiff. You don't have to undo the screw but it just gets it out of the way and makes it easy. There's three Allen screws that are I think three millimeters by memory. If you have the, cl the clutch undone you'll be able to just rotate that whole assembly with, with by that nut that I'm holding and it's pretty important to have the clutch free at this stage now that I'm going to hold the top of the nut and unscrew that nut you really just have to break the seal you can see a difference there already just in how free that's moving process from here now is pretty much just adjusting it until you get all the play out of your deck axis. Check the movement up and down and just keep doing it until you're satisfied. You don't want it rubbing but you don't want any movement there either. The next step is to do the RA axis. I'm going to put a counterweight on this. I'm also going to put my little Skywatcher ED72 in. Balance the two up just so that I can get a feel for the RA movement. You can see the deck is working quite nicely there. You can see that's quite stiff. The adjustment process is a bit different for the RA. Similar, but it's just a little bit more involved. So that just unscrews at the bottom there. To access the polar scope, and you should be able to undo this by hand, counterclockwise, of course. And that whole polar scope will just slide straight out. The next step is there's a cover, and there's two Allen crew screws which are two millimeters this time, one opposite each other. And there's also a marker at the top for the zero mark, so just bear in mind that that's got to go to the top. And when getting that back in, it's important to line the, uh, the grub screw holes up with it as well. You probably need to loosen the, the 
the clutch here just to get access to there's four two millimeter allen key screws and by rotating your RA you'll get access to those four screws and they have to be undone slightly not all the way The next part of this is a little trickier. If you've got like a jam jar opener or even an oil filter remover, I think this will be the best option in this case. And again, you have to hold the telescope with the clutch undone, and this is quite tight. But once you get it, then you have to undo it just a little bit. And you can see the difference that's made, which is a huge difference, which is going to make balancing my telescope a lot easier. And again, the, the same process applies. You have to um, just check for movement. And if there's a, a little bit of movement, just keep adjusting it. I had to do this several times. And just listen as well to make sure there's nothing grinding there. And that all the play's out. And then just a reverse procedure. Just make sure here that the two grub screws are aligned with the two indentations on this cover. That's it for this video. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Just a quick shout out and thank you to my brother Shane who designed the Don Astronomy logo. I like it.